a this will be a funny one. Let's see if we can make this one look interesting. It's a difficult one. Let's see how we can do with this. I think we're going to just leave them like that. It may not go well with this kind of original. So let's see what we can do with this. So make a negative positive as usual, as we often, as we usually do. This will be a funny one. So I'm wondering if we're going to contrast. Going to add a little bit of contrast. Copy density. This is the one we use when we're using the contrast. Not going all the way down to dark. This one might be a little bit too dark to go all the way with the darkness, so as to speak. And we're going to throw in some hue. So we're going to make it warmer, close to hot. No colour balance. This will be a challenge. This one's metallic. It's a metallic sort of foil, foiled plastic. So I'm going to keep that in the centre. So let's see what we can make out of this. Okay, got to get the sizing. We've got to look at the size and see if we can make it uh, and, uh, close enough. Anyway, this is it. Twix que Creamy Peanut Butter. found this and I cleaned it up. It's going to be a demo piece, as we normally make my vid stuff for my videos. So it's about a size of a B6 in length. Well, not quite. It's a good size for a centering. So B6, and that's B6 there. I think that's B6. It's hard to see here. We're just going to drop it down a little bit. I don't know how big B6 to A4 is. That's a bit size I don't think they have with their fixed ratios. And my mental arithmetic is absolutely shit. Or my math. Doing math in my head isn't all that good. So I find it hard to deal with sizes like this. So... Trying to think, B4 to A3, B5 to A4, there's B5 to A4, which is 115.4, A4 to B4. So, shit, this is so hard. We're going to start with that. I don't know how that's going to fucking work, but we'll see what happens. You never know, it might be a pleasant surprise. Doesn't hurt to try. Okay, finish, and then start again, which is a concomitant of stupidity. I feel like calling it sarcastically an innovation. It's not an innovation. It's gone backwards, mate. Clonic and Minolta have gone backwards. They just love money and that's it. People who love money are backward thinkers. And the man who runs Clonic and Minolta, the CEO in Japan somewhere, he's got a lot to answer for, the bitch. Well, let's see if we can make this piece of shit perform nicely. Anyway, that Twix looks interesting. It's not big enough enlargement. As you can see, I'm going to have to just be intuitive here, but we're going to add a background colour. It looks bland. El Blando. It looks horrible. Bland. So we're going to take out the blandness with a background colour. I'm going to add a background colour. So going here, and I think the colour of choice will have to be red. Red would go well if we can just set this thing up better. So we're we're on. we're using that. We can't use that for this so we're going to have to do a gear change and then we have to use brightness and then when we use brightness we cancel contrast there's no more contrast this is feature clashing these are features that are clashing so they don't go together you can't make them together <sighs> okay let's see what we've got and the size we've got to make the size a lot bigger we're going to have to be intuitive, which I really find difficult with this particular... I think we're going to just do a normal size. We're not going to fit the page like... We're just going to hit the set button and we're just going to do a normal enlargement. So I don't know how big we're going to make this. Uh, so hard. So difficult. So we're going to go 100 and... I feel like we're going 170. That might to go let's see how that works let's see if we can make it fit the page well not fit the page but get centered 
center it. So if we can center it, that'll look really nice. So let's see how well we can center this, this thing. So let's see if we've got a good centering. We're still too small. We're still way too small. It looks like we haven't made any difference. I don't understand what I did. I think I fucked up somewhere. So I have to find out where I fucked up. It says A4 to B4. That's, that's not big enough. We're still stuck on that. Some reason this set button didn't work for me. I thought this thing didn't have any problems with the zoom. So we're going 100, we're going to go 180, and we're just going to watch and see if this stays. It's fucking up on me. It's fucked up. It's not working properly. Let's try that again. I think we might have found a bug in the system, for all we know. So we're just going to see if that's going to stay in the system when we hit the close button it doesn't i thought this machine had no problems with this i'm sure i've used this before but i don't know why it's misbehaving like this so we're going to have to go this way and we're going to have to do it x and y independently i don't understand i'm sure i've worked this that set button before i don't understand why it's not working for me now and something just glitched out on me so we're just uh, fucked this is the technology we have. It's so primitive and so stupid, so badly thought out by the fucking idiots who run the industry. And I don't think there are any toner heads or nerds and geeks working in the R&D lab, which seems to show by the, by the way there's no difference in, this, in the features virtually. And the fact that they just change the the way things work like they go from a tab system to this silly scroll thing that's meant to look like a mobile phone and obviously these people aren't any smarter than a iq 110 so they're pretty dumb people that conica and Minolta have obviously hired the toner heads are probably being kicked out for putting in those interesting features so i'm not terribly happy with the status quo of conica and Minolta. They can go fuck themselves as far as I'm concerned. Now we could just, I'm just wondering if we're just going to slide the, the Twix further that way. We're not going to bother playing around more with the zoom. We're just going to just slightly move it across. So just ever so slightly. And I think we're just going to push it up a little, just a little bit like that. Let's see how that goes. But yeah, I don't like the way the money fucking is going on inside Konica Minolta. The CEO has got to be ashamed of himself for making, for allowing this kind of three-step process to be used in a photocopier. In a modern photocopier, it's bloody stupid. But that's their fucking problem. It's my, I can make fun of them. That's fun to make fun of some stupid idiots that make money as a fucking priority. But anyway, we've got something good. Gotta go.